you know things went bad when the new head of Marvel Television, or the guy overseeing it primarily now and not having Kevin Feige spread too thin, says that Marvel Studios' initiative under Disney is what killed Marvel Television. <laughs> So this comes at us from Marvel TV's head, Brad Winderbaum, who recently spoke with Variety. And after that, there's been a couple more comments that further talk about the old Marvel Studios TV approach. And if you guys are confused, um, after Marvel Entertainment was pretty much sent out the door and killed off with Ike Perlmutter being fired, and of course Jeff Lowe being taken off of Marvel TV... Marvel Studios took everything over, hence all the expensive shows on Disney+, Plus, which were mandated Bob, Bob Chapek. And, uh, well, recently talking about why now they're going back to how it was before, with multiple brandings, rebranding, uh, you know, trying to differentiate all this, Brad Winderbaum said that if you looked at what they were doing, the Marvel Studios label on everything almost devalued and oversaturated Marvel Studios, where you felt like everything suddenly mattered and maybe there was too much content, and that the old way was sort of like a pick and choose. You could watch Daredevil and Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and not watch anything else, and you felt like you weren't mandated because there wasn't that Marvel Studios logo. But when they apply that to everything, suddenly people got overwhelmed and instead of having, hey, we got two Marvel Studios films a year and five TV shows, which is what we had, now you got two Marvel Studios films a year, but three Marvel Studios shows. And suddenly it feels like there's too much Marvel Studios, even though it's less content than before. And he says that the Marvel Studios mandates that were passed down by Disney essentially hurt the perception of Marvel Studios and that's what killed the MCU for many people. And um, I'm going to agree with him. You know, I was a person that watched everything that Marvel put out. Cloak and Dagger, Runaways. Runaways is one of my absolute favorite pieces of content since Disney got their hands on Marvel. But again, had that been mandated along with Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and everything, it's like, no, you have to watch this to know everything. People would have also been burnt out. So what he's saying here is true. The moment you slapped Marvel Studios, which was known for their films, onto everything, people got overwhelmed. And you definitely get the sense of that. Even though, as we can prove, there's less Marvel content, and there was in those couple years there, than ever before, still, the perception was there's more. So what's your guys' opinion on this? Are you guys like me? Do you think that they were doing the right thing? with the old way and that's why they've gone back to the old ways of marvel entertainment marvel television division style branding or do you think there's something more here to why people lost interest